long drive from town, but when the rain clouds finally cleared, the view was really impressive. An expansive sea straight ahead, Treasure Beach down the road, Rocky Point to the east, cool lighthouse here too. We're perched 1,700 feet above sea level. That makes us the highest lighthouse in the world above sea level. Still functioning? Still functioning, still operable. It's offering light and guidance to shore for the folks at Great Bay, Treasure Beach and Alligator Pond. Love Asleep with its own legend, that of besotted slaves Missy and Tunky. From what was then a neighboring tobacco plantation, choosing to jump to their deaths in the 17th century, rather than face separation. But well, who knows? At any rate, tourists like the story. So does manager Jason Ricketts, who's quite happy to pitch Lover's Leap as the ultimate romantic destination or scenic getaway, which pretty much anyone would enjoy. When we went to primary school, we learned about Lover's Leap and the famous couple jumping off. So we have school tours happening here. We have the Kingston folks who are road tripping on the south coast. They stop by for lunch and for pictures here at Lover's Leap. We have weddings because it's the most beautiful spot in the Caribbean. You know, where would be a better place to get married? Jason and an associate who leased the attraction also promote us. They lay on Friday night parties, even had Romaine Virgo getting people in the mood a few weeks ago. <laughs> Next on the series, we're thinking about Taurus Riley Sanchez, yet to be decided, but it's that kind of vibe that we're getting, a more intimate, mature vibe. Jason, as you can hear, it's pelting rain outside. Does that happen a lot in St. Elizabeth? <laughs> uh, actually, it doesn't, because St. Elizabeth is a very dry parish around these sides. All right, but um, we're now in the June to November hurricane season. So we're getting a lot of rain and we welcome the rains. I'm sure that the farmers who grow the herbs and spices will welcome it. The rather large snapper I talked into getting the full benefit of the parish's bounty. Organically grown spices and herbs. When those are infused into chicken and pork and fish, it's an awesome taste. So the tourists you get, where they come from really, because there's not many big hotels on the south coast. There's a trend in tourism now. We're actually moving away from sun, sea and sand. People want to come and meet the locals. A very important area here in St. Elizabeth is Lover's Leap. It's perched nicely where tourists can come, they walk around, meet the locals and enjoy the view and have great food. Nearby Jake's directing its guests to drop by for lunch and a bit of sightseeing. Everything helps. Jason almost knocked out of the game by COVID. You know, staff had to go home uh, and it was a really sad time for us. But he and his partner used the downturn in business to spruce up the property. As for the view, no improving on that. It's actually a very picturesque location for hanging out, chilling. Given the fact that it's perched 1,700 feet above sea level, it gives you fresh air. There's nothing better than fresh air to have a mental detox or just to, you know, have a business meeting or just a romantic dinner with you and your partner. And so that is the, what I like mostly about St. Elizabeth. And we don't really have a lot of factories and stuff. Those are mostly on the urban side. So, you know, it's really clean, fresh air. And if you have clean, fresh air and good food, there's no better day. If you're heading to Lover's Leap, Jason recommends the fish, done whichever way you like. Also, yes, the Missy and Tonky Plateau, quesadillas, wings and fries.
Also, we have authentic country people food because we are country boys. We actually grew up in St. Elizabeth and we have oxtail on the menu. You know, what is lovers leap without a nice oxtail and some more oxtail gravy on it with some red striped beer. Can't go wrong. You're not unhappy being far away from Kingston with all the crime and craziness going on there. Actually, I'm, I'm very much happier here. Nobody passes you and don't say good morning and good afternoon. And, and you know, that helps to lift your day a little bit. And you'll just feel like, yo, I left town and their country and my whole vibes. And this is what I need. And that's Lover's Leap. It's all about the view. And yes, Jason, the food. I keep on doing all the good.